So first thing we have to cover is the fact that Facebook is a machine learning platform. It's artificial intelligence, it's AI. So we have to remember that we are teaching it with every penny that we spend. Just like any time you run a real store and your employees interact with the customer, they get an opportunity to get better at their job. Every impression that Facebook serves with our ads to their users is an opportunity for Facebook to get better at ultimately meeting our shared business objectives. Remember, Facebook is a machine learning algorithm. What are we teaching it? Second thing we need to know is that certain ads perform better than others. That's a fact. I have some ads I've been running for years and they still print money. Let me explain how. First thing we need to understand is that our Facebook ads are probably driving people off the Facebook platform. They're going to our landing page and that's totally fine. What we need to understand and appreciate is that Facebook cares about that person's experience after they leave and how that impacts their desire to come back. And also, Facebook is measuring compliance with their terms and services up to three clicks after somebody lands on your web page. So maybe your landing page is totally compliant, but somewhere else somebody can go and two clicks completely isn't. If that's the case, your ad account is going to get banned immediately. Next. Targeting specific audiences is an absolute no-go. This is detailed targeting, behaviors, interest groups, lookalikes, etc. And here's why. Our Facebook ads are making their own audiences. When Facebook delivers our ads to a user, what they're trying to do is improve that user's experience on Facebook. It's not random distribution within an audience that we pick. It's extraordinarily well qualified and the delivery that we earn is based on the merit of the user's overall experience. Now why this really matters is because our ads, if we don't use detailed targeting and interest groups and lookalikes, etc., have the ability to be shown to the best possible people regardless of where they are on the internet and in their customer journey and how Facebook has defined them inside of certain audiences. When we use targeting audiences, what we are doing is paying extra to exclude the vast majority of people that want to see our content because some other data says that we're only wanting to focus on these other individuals, whether that's an interest group, meaning that two thirds of those people have decided to talk about something. We don't know if they're in the buying market. We don't know if they actually feel positively about something. And yeah, it's two thirds because one third of those people are there by mistake because Facebook stopped writing code for interest groups back in 2018. It's ancient technology. You might as well be using dial up to access the internet. And maybe you're saying what I want to use is a lookalike audience. Okay. You want to make a lookalike audience based off of what, a couple hundred, a couple thousand data points that Facebook has? Do we trust all that information, especially after iOS 14? If you can't trust attribution and you're not really trusting Facebook's information and matching people because of privacy concerns, how good do you think that lookalike audience is? And remember, whether it's interest groups or lookalike audiences or behaviors or retargeting, Facebook is still only going to show that ad to the people that are most positively going to receive it. The problem is if you take a hundred million or 200 million person audience and you get it down to a couple hundred thousand or maybe a couple million, you've excluded 98% of the people that probably want to see it, which means you're going to spend way more money forcing your ad onto people that don't want to see your content, which means your CPMs are going to go up. And you might get some good initial results, but that audience is going to fatigue and that ad is going to fatigue. When you target broad age, gender, and location only your ad set, your audience will never fatigue and your ads can run for weeks, months, or years. And you can spend millions on them. I have hundreds of thousands on dozens of ads. For months at a time or more is completely possible versus the ad dies in a couple of weeks and you have to start all over. Also, you need to be taking advantage of dynamic creatives. When you build individual ad after ad after ad, let's say you make 12 of them and you put them in an ad set and test it. Well, does every ad get a chance? No. 
Also, the ad that everything gets spent on is competing with all the other ads. And you're effectively just guessing what people may or may not want to see. And you're hoping that not only was your guess right, but that first initial 500 or 1,000 impressions were received positively. And you're hoping that the best ad out of that test is the one that got spent. That's a lot of hope and luck and guessing for you to be putting the future of your business on the back of it. Instead, when we use dynamic creatives, by hitting the dynamic creative option at the ad set level and giving Facebook a limited selection of validated elements, what I love to do is three creatives, two headlines, two primary texts called the 322 method. Facebook is assembling all of the data that every ad iteration that is in that available possible selection of ads and elements, and it's compounding the value. Instead of cannibalizing the performance, only the ads that do well are going to get the spend. So the vast majority of your spend only goes to the best ads, not the ones that were lucky enough to get a good reception early on, and not the ones that did so poorly, but they still spent because you wanted to test every idea. The point here is, instead of you guessing to hopefully get lucky that the ad that actually works gets spent, while you cannibalize any insight and any success you could get from any other ad, you're letting machine learning and artificial intelligence ultimately create the best relationship with you and Facebook to give the end Facebook user the best overall experience so you spend the vast majority of your money on the best performing ad of those available options. That's a far better investment with far less waste that produces ads that are substantially better and can last for months or years. So first off, I know you could be literally anywhere on the internet right now and you've chosen to be here and for that I want to say thank you. You're obviously loving this video, so go ahead and hit like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything else and that we can work together to make sure that you see all the success that you deserve.